And here we are. Another perfectly peaceful evening. And no, I have no fears for tomorrow evening. I know it'll be just as peaceful as this evening is. And I know that this is the way my eternity is going to be. I'm showing you what consistent peace looks like. Not peace that waves, wavers in and out, and uh, sometimes it's okay, and then you never know when the next crisis is coming. You never know when it's all going to crack up. But consistent peace. I want you to see what it looks like. So that you, could, if you could like feel it, you can begin to, to, to home in on it and begin to establish a relationship with God that leads to this kind of being able to create this around you. This doesn't happen uh, spontaneously. It doesn't just sort of arise The Buddhists are entirely wrong on that point. Uh, it's, it's not just that everything just kind of like happens spontaneously. No. Um, if peace exists, it's because it's been created. It's been brought into existence intentionally. Peace never happens spontaneously. It's on too high of a level to occur spontaneously. Every piece that we, ex that we experience has been brought into being by other righteous people, and we are being allowed to enjoy it if we appreciate it and if we add to it. It did not just spring into existence. It doesn't just sort of like happen, not peace. Other things on lower levels, kind of like, even that just doesn't exactly happen, but um, it doesn't require as much exquisite discipline to make happen. Peace being the highest of the accomplishments requires exquisite discipline and very, very deep knowledge of God. I want you to see what it looks like and see that it's consistent here. It's not wavering. And I, I don't feel like, oh, I don't dare say this to people because it might bring about the evil eye and then tomorrow suddenly something will happen. No, 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 way past that. Nothing can take my peace away from me. Peace is, to those who walk with God, more firm than anything in creation, once you get it. It is more reliable than the earth under your feet. A lot of the people in the world are seeing that they cannot depend on anything. The land does not behave the way they expected. Suddenly it bottoms out from under them. The volcanoes, the floods, the pestilence, sudden attacks of locust, all kinds of things happen to them because they are projecting that onto their worlds. Those are expressions of who they are inside. And that is all happening. It used to be that Earth was less responsive to moral cues. That's what happened when the monarchy of Israel was removed from the throne. What is the throne? It is actually the seat of learning. The Hebrew word for throne, which is kise, is equal to 81, which is 
also a seat, a chair. It is also anochi, which is I. It is also teva, which is nature. The righteous kings and queens, and this is very important to know, queens even more than the kings, were in control of nature. When Israel sinned, it became incapable of impacting nature in the same way, and earth went out of sync and was no longer responding appropriately to moral cues. So that people who had evil intentions were not detected as such by earth, and earth remained apathetic and didn't care whether or not it was used for holiness or unholiness that allowed itself to be used by anyone in any way. And that's the real meaning of a harlot. That's what happens to earth, which is in the feminine, when it is not guarded by holy people, particularly holy women. It, it gives itself over to the use of whoever comes along without discriminating whether someone's intentions are good and bad. Now, this is no longer happening. And as a, thank God, woohoo, thank God. And as a result, those who have evil intentions are immediately picked up as such by nature. The water feels it, the land feels it, certainly the animals feel it, the plants feel it, and nothing cooperates with that anymore. If you're living in a place where there are a lot of people that are meditating on all kinds of uh, Christian abominations, I promise you, I promise you, you will have earthquakes, you will have volcanoes, you will have hurricanes, you will have typhoons. Earth is no longer going to put up with that. Earth will react in kind, in force, and immediately to whatever our intentions are. If they're good, we will be amply rewarded. And if they're evil, they will be amply responded to. This is what you're seeing. This is what's going on in the world. Okay. Without going into a lot of very, very heavy, mystical, internal things, um, know that every one of the natural disasters that are visiting Earth are visiting Earth for specific reasons and in response to specific sins. And I'll just give a couple of examples. The Hebrew word for hail, you Christians say hail Mary, don't you? God doesn't like that. It's a lie. The hail in Hebrew is the word barad. The Hebrew word for what you call the logos, which is logos, which is all a, hor a horrific lie, is devar, which is an anagram of barad. And because you mixed up, because you lied about what devar really means, God is sending you barad. God is sending you hail. Those of you who lied about Ruach HaKodesh, we're calling it the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost and, and all kinds of, which you know nothing about. There is, a, there is a Ruach HaKodesh. There is a Holy Spirit. You Christians know absolutely nothing about it. You have no business talking about it. And the evil wind that, that comes, the evil vapors and the evil wind that comes out of your mouths when you tell these lies about the Holy Spirit is now coming back to you in the form of tornadoes and hurricanes and you see that they're getting worse. I'll give you one more example before I finish this so that you will have some inkling of, of, of what it is that you brought on yourself. 
you see that in the middle of April, you're still getting snow. Why are you getting snow? The Hebrew word for snow is sheleg. An anagram of sheleg is shegal, which means the reigning queen, God's consort. Because you Christians and Muslims did not recognize the holiness of the feminine in creation, and because you harmed women, and because especially you Christians told all kinds of lies about the Virgin Mary having no idea what you were talking about, you are being visited with snow when it's not in its season. You have destroyed the earth that you were given with your actions, with your words, with the meditations of your heart, with your ugly thoughts. It is you who brought this upon yourselves. And no, this is not some preamble to a rapture. Don't believe me, just watch. I don't expect you to believe me. Nature is talking for me. You don't have to believe me. I'm not on the level of asking for people for, for blind faith. When I tell you something, you'll see it show up in your neighborhood. This is not going away. In fact, it's only going to get worse. Hell is not in some other world. It's right here on earth. Heaven, likewise, is right here on Earth. If you look at the videos on a site like Relaxing Walker's channel of what's going on in Israel, you will see that more and more the Jews are manifesting peace here and peace reigns here in Israel. In contradistinction to the Jews, the worlds of the, um, of the Christians, of the Muslims, of the Hindus who, who, who burned widows are now experiencing terrible fires. The, the animists in Africa, the, the Christians in Africa are having their worlds flooded away, eaten up by locusts, burned away, simply falling away as, as the earth opens up its, its maw and swallows you into it. And no, it's not going away. It's only going to increase so long as you stubbornly hold on to your blasphemy and your abominations. This is very, very hard for me to say. I've been writing this as comments on a number of people's videos because in order to say this, I have to... I'm actually fortifying it by saying it. And I've been trying to avoid that. But you need to be made to understand and unfortunately what you have reaped which is a bumper crop of what you have sown has now ho come home to you and it's not going away anytime soon I cannot comfort you I cannot even feel real compassion for you you did this to yourselves the Jews try to warn you that you cannot appropriate God's word by five-finger discount, and you cannot break into God's house through some dark back alley door, and you persecuted us and you made us shut up in fear and in terror and in poverty. You've deser you deserve this, and you've gotten what you deserved. And no, it's not ending anytime soon. You've opened up the, 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 the pits of hell for yourselves, and no one is more deserving.